Hey, what's up YouTube? Here's another video by Ratchets and Wrenches. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove and replace your uh, timing belt, water pump, timing belt tensioner and, lower, and uh, roller on a 2006 Hyundai Elantra. Okay, since we're going to be working on the right side of the vehicle, and that's where the timing belt is and the water pump, and uh, you know, it's going to make life a lot easier if we uh, get this uh, hood prop out of the way. So we don't have to go keep going around it, and you can use a, a, wood, a stick to use as a prop on the other side to, to hold up the hood, or in my case, I got this rope in my garage that I use for this, and uh, just connect it to your top of your hood and uh, keep it up, so you know, it's going to make life a lot easier. Next, you want to disconnect your battery. I'm not going to do this because this car is going to be smogged uh, right after this job. Uh, and you know, in order to smog it, at least in California, you have to drive a car a certain amount of uh, miles till the computer is ready and uh, I'm just not going to do that so I'm not going to disconnect it but if you are uh, you should disconnect the, the negative side first and the positive side and then when you go to put it back you put the positive side first and the negative side okay next we need to remove this engine cover and it's held in place by uh, four 10 millimeter bolts Go ahead and set this aside. Next, we need to jack up the front of the vehicle. So, we're going to put our uh, emergency parking brake on. Next, we choke both rear wheels. Next, we'll jack up the side of the car and place it on jack stand. Okay, since we're going to be uh, replacing the water pump, we need to drain the coolant out of the system and uh, we do that by removing this plug that's on the bottom left side of the radiator. You need to use a big screwdriver and I'm just going to use this chisel from my chisel set just to make sure I don't strip the inside of this plug. Or if this decides to bite you, you can always use uh, some uh, pliers. This. Don't lose the O-ring that's at the, on, this, on this plug. And in order to help the coolant drain out faster, we can, uh, we should always uh, remove your radiator uh, cap. There we go. Okay, next we need to remove this bottom splash shield that's covering our uh, harmonic balancer and the crankshaft pulley. And this is held in my place in this car by two 10 millimeter bolts. One is here, and the other one is uh, right here. I've seen some Elantras that have a third one right there, so just make sure yours is, make sure you get all two or three bolts. Okay, so before we start removing our uh, drive bolts, uh, we need to, uh, on this car, the water pump pulley is held in place by four 10 millimeter bolts. It's those guys right down there. And, uh, you know, if you remove your belts, you can't unscrew them, you know, it's just gonna turn the pulley. So, you know, it's best to uh, loosen them while the pulley and the belts are still on there. So, and you do that by using a 10 millimeter wrench. I'm lucky enough to have one of these long ones with the uh, swivel end you know like that so it makes my life a lot easier but even if you have a small one short one you know it should be fine all right there's one there's two there's three and there's the fourth one Okay, now it's time to start removing our uh, drive bolts. Uh, we're going to start with the alternator belt before we go to the to the tightening mechanism for the tie for the alternator. We need to first loosen this bottom uh, this bottom bolt that's right next to the your oil filter, and 
it's uh, I believe it's a 12 millimeter if I remember. Yeah, it's a 12 millimeter, and you just need to loosen it. You don't need to remove it completely. Just make sure it's, it's loosened for sure. Okay, now we're at top of the alternator, and uh, to loosen the belt, we need to first loosen this locking nut or locking bolt or whatever, and then we need to loosen this all the way, and that will give us enough slack to remove the belt. Okay, and these are 12 millimeter. Both these guys are 12 millimeter. Once you loosen this enough, you can probably just push it up and remove it from 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 right here. That way, you don't have to keep loosening this for like half an hour. There we go. Now we just push the alternator towards the engine and that should give us enough slack to remove the bolt. Okay, so with the alternator pushed in we should be able to just easily slide this belt off. And if you're going to be re reusing these like I am, make sure you mark the direction of uh, the rotation of the belt. Okay, so in order to loosen the, the power steering pump belt uh, we need to loosen this bolt, and there's another one down here, it's facing the other side. And these are 14 millimeter uh, bolts. You know, actually, we don't really need to loosen that one, so we're just able to push it in. So, yeah, we just do that and take out the power steering pump belt. Like that. Okay, just a note about. Uh, reinstalling the belt and the power steering pump when you go to reinstall it I don't know if I'm gonna include that in the video or not you know since it's gonna be pretty basic or just a uh, reversal removal since this doesn't have a like a lock a tensioning mechanism like the other belts you just put your uh, pry bar here you can rest it against this uh, this bracket that's for the engine cover and then just push it this way and once it's tight enough you just tighten this belt and that should do it you know, actually, I'm going to completely remove this power steering assembly and uh, the reservoir so I can get a better shot of the, all the timing stuff that I'm going to be showing you guys later. But uh, I don't know, you probably wouldn't have to do this if you're doing the timing belt job, but uh, I'm going to do this just to, just to be able to get better shots. And there's two, two 14 millimeter bolts for this again, and then the, there's just the screw that's, why I think, just holding this reservoir in place. There's two. They're obviously different sizes and they got washers, so make sure you keep track of that. This reservoir. Alright, look at that. A lot more room here now. Okay, now it's time for the last belt. And the last belt, you take it off by uh, loosening this tensioning set here, and uh, you first loosen this bolt. And then you take that out, or you unscrew that out all the way, or just enough to be able to push it out of the, 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 the this assembly, and then that would be loosened all the way. Ah, that was all. This one's pretty loose. All right. You know, actually, we're not going to be able to push to do the same thing we did with the alternator assembly on this one, it seems. But, uh, you know, just take, just unscrew this all the way until you have enough uh, slack to just slide it off up there and around here and around. That's, that's it. Okay, since we're going to be removing the right side engine mount, uh, we're going to be jacking up. We need to jack up the engine a little bit. And uh, we do that by just placing our jack underneath the, the oil pan. Use a piece of wood just so you can make sure it helps, you know, just uh, spread out the weight and that uh, you don't damage your oil pan. And then we just basically jack it up. You know, just have to make sure you support the engine. You don't need to jack up the whole car. And uh, usually about like three quarters of an inch should be plenty. 